we're not undressed A part of me wish that we never met But you act like we never Got to waste it in the bathroom of your parents' house Now you kissed me in the backseat of a taxi ride And we said things that were cheesy But we meant them, there were feelings And now you deny it You're in love with the idea of me But you're not in my reality Find it hard to leave a picture in Cause my reality is your reality No
My name is Tina and I'm a part of the Goose House community. My name's Ross. I am a junior events manager for the Goose House. Being a part of the Goose House community has actually helped me to improve my language skills because I'm surrounded by people who are English speakers only. Since joining the Goose House, I became a lot more social. I became more open with how I am as a person. Before when I joined, I was like really down, obviously with COVID and stuff like that. And then uh, I joined and everyone asked me how I was every day. They'd speak to me and I, I, my worst points, uh, I'd always had someone there to back me and speak to me. I'd never attended a LAN event. And the most recent LAN event was in October, November for Epic LAN. And they encouraged me to go. And it was the best thing I've ever done in a long time. For advice for people that are seeking for any gaming community, I would actually recommend just not being shy. You know, turn your mic on, don't be scared of being judged that people are going to judge you because of your accent. Just don't be scared because people, like especially the Goots House, it's a very open community. No one's going to judge you. The main bit of advice I can give is don't be afraid to go out of your own comfort zone to meet new people. Sometimes like going out of that comfort zone, you can meet the most amazing people in the world. Like some of, some of the people I've met are like now my best friends. Throughout those few months that I've been a part of the Goose House, I've met such a big amount of great people that I'm so thankful for. The admins, Dan, Meg, Casso, Sly, there are so many more people, but the whole admin crew is so nice, so helpful, and I'm so thankful for them for just making me feel very safe. Just the main admins in general, like a lot of them backed me and supported me into getting to where I am today. And honestly, I've had like the most support in the community that I've ever had. And it was, it felt nice. Like I've always, I've never really had that support for my second family. Hello, welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the Goose House Beacon event. My name is Naokai, joined by Nara Mizuki. As per usual, as we welcome you to day one. It's the start of the weekend. Going to be a long one as well as we've got lots of games up for show. And I'm, I've got to say, Sam, I'm quite excited. This is one of my favorite ideas for a tournament, right? VTT is awesome. The regional leagues, fantastic. VRCs, the grassroots, giving an opportunity for the pros of tomorrow to come through and have a, a place to show their stuff. I love this. I will watch this any day of the week. Yeah, exactly that. And that's the good thing. We've got, of course, this weekend to kind of delve into it. But we've also got a few more VRCs here and there cropping up around, uh, you know, the next coming weeks and months. So it's exciting times. The kickstart here in the Goose House as well, I think it's very, very adequate. They have been, you know, an inaugural part of the grassroots kind of within, I guess, the, the UK scene and further as well, right? So I think it's the perfect place to kind of kickstart things for uh, this VRC here. I'm really looking forward to it. We've got some big teams as well and some, some pretty fam uh, kind of formidable names cropping up up here and there too yeah we've got some new names we've got some of those familiar faces which i think is probably one of the uh really exciting parts but before we yeah. dive into that a little bit obviously uh the format so we've got the two days the best of threes uh we've already had our first best of three of the day and uh, we're gonna be heading into our second one here and then of course we'll have one more after this and tomorrow will be two more best of threes with a best of five grand final winner take all well when it takes the points, of course, this is part of a True. circuit. And at the end of all of the Beacon events, the teams with the biggest points will be going off to a finals event. So again, I mean, this is a really, really exciting tournament mm -hmm. to be a part of. Yeah, exactly. There's a lot on the line, right? And of course, what this sort of tournament sets up for is consistency. It's all about consistency, not mm -hmm. across just this tournament itself, but all of them together. You've got to collect those points to be able to get that place all the way through. And of course, with the format being best of three single elim, you know, there's do or die there's no room for mistakes there you have to keep that consistency we'll take a look at the schedule of course for today what are discussions game number one sam what's your thoughts going in towards our first match <laughs> i love that logo <laughs> <laughs> i'm sorry like knee-jerk reaction there but yeah game yeah. one see you uh see you genesis generis oh my word everyone's Gennaro, been saying yeah. it wrong all day and now they've got it in my head <laughs> uh yeah see you generis versus one webs mm -hmm. what a name um oh, so the one webs team uh these are actually some players that have kind of been around the scene for a little while they played some of them actually played in like first strike way back yes, in the day yeah. and they didn't you know compete 
compete for a little while thereafter, but they're back with a passion now and looking forward to seeing what they can bring to the table. Sweet Generous, on the other uh, on the other hand, this is a pretty exciting team for me personally, and I think for you a little bit as well. You know, these yeah. are some players that we've seen growing for quite some time. You look at names like Swise, like Danny, who were part of the 10 Star Academy roster. You look at players like King Hass, uh, who were part of Vexed. So there's a lot of really, really good talent on this roster. But for Wani Web to have made it up to the second round, you got to think there's a little bit of fire in them. They've just come out of a 2 1 victory. We'll so, see how yeah. far they can push these slightly more seasoned players. Yeah, exactly that. And of course, you know, when we look towards the, you know, the, you know, the, the TBC of what game we'll be going to into the, the second, there's a couple of places we could go. Only Finns is a team we're going to keep an eye on going throughout today. There are definitely a side who you think potentially something could happen about them. Uh, the Eco team as well, Eco Esports. I mean, they've kind of been another kind of inaugural part of, uh, of CS for such a long time. Static for me, who I only really checked on as of recently, but then back to back two zeros. Another team who potentially could cause a bit of an upset. So there's some very, very decent teams going forward. Eco did actually beat CSGG as well, which means they will take on only Finns later on. That game could be very spicy. Yeah, and we actually wanted to broadcast that one, but unfortunately, uh, the skate... Uh Skate. <laughs> the only Finns players uh, can't hold their game back and wait yeah. for the broadcast. So we're not going to be able to get to that one. But there's a lot of other notable teams. I do want to just talk about, so the reason I said Skate, and it's because I wanted to go into one of the teams that didn't mm. make it. That's a little unfortunate. I mean, this is a big organization. They picked up the old Fabrican roster some time ago, and half of that roster went on to become FPX. So uh, Skate have been around the scene for a really long time. It's a little unfortunate that they weren't able to make something more happen mm. for themselves. And as I kind of look along the bracket you know you look at teams like unsigned uh, who have also been around for a little while i think they participated in the the icebox northern classic as well uh, very recently uh, at the yeah. end of last year so and they did reasonably well as well uh, you look at a team like sid's minions another team that we're going to be Just keeping our them, eyes yeah. on some notable players there uh, that could potentially do some exciting stuff into the breach uh, have relatively recently mm -hmm. come into the valorant scene as an organization they picked up a men's team and a women's team and also some notable names on there for me most notable junjun who used to play on who cars who of course is absolutely tearing it up right Right now in Polaris. Exactly. So a lot of really good teams and Temperate, that's the team that you were looking at. Yeah, exactly that. Well, let's focus back on the match at hand that coming out towards today. We can take a look at the teams individually, of course. Sweet, generous. I need to make sure, of course, got that one right. Taking on Wani e Wep here for the first game. Some interesting names, but the play is going to be brilliant. We've already seen these two play a couple of games today, and uh, we can uh, take a look at the rosters individually as well. As Sweet, generous will be up on your screen momentarily. As we mentioned, there's some notable names present here within kind of uh, you know these rosters. We take a look through Sweet Generous as well. Swai, Danny King, Has, Cow, and Lurk. I mean, some very decent names. And for those of you sitting at home, you probably recognize a couple of them. Same do we. Yeah, so as I mentioned, you know, you got Danny and you got Swise, who were part of the old 10 star Vulcan mm -hmm. roster, one of the academy teams. They had two academy teams teams and actually went on and they played for the goose house for a little bit as well so there's quite a bit of experience there king has as well has played on teams like malik like vexed uh, same with cal you know been on a lot of good rosters over the last few years and even lurk uh, has had his time in the sun so for the most part this is a pretty experienced roster and agreed I don't know if I would go so far as to call them the f uh, the favorites. I think that there are a lot of really good teams, but I, I would definitely call them a strong contender. Yeah, I agree. And we can take a look at their opponents, of course, as well. Wani Wep, this one slightly less kind of notable in terms of the big names, but at the same time, they've got this far as well, and we have to keep an eye out for them. So for Relish, uh, I hate Valorant. Name there, SLM, Evolution, and Illegal is a uh, the the five four one e web. So far, as you mentioned, they come on the back of a two one as well. So we mm -hmm. have to start to factor in a couple of other things too, where the fatigue starts to play a factor going forward for them, feeling a little bit tired. But an interesting roster. They've got a big opponent ahead of them. Yeah, and what's really stressful for them, I think, is also, as I mentioned, you know, they haven't really played competitive Valorant for quite some time. So this mm -hmm. is them dipping their toes back in. Of course, they played in the server. They've been, you know, grinding yeah, ranked yeah. like all of our players do. But it's definitely a different beast when you finally step into the server and you know that there are stakes on the line. Agreed. And as you mentioned, you know, they've just come off the back of a pretty grueling three-map series. I know that that last map went into overtime as well. And you look at a team like uh, Sweet Gener uh, Generis, they went through their first game. It was a 2-0. Mm. They've been 
chilling That's while it. they waited and okay maybe they've cooled down a little bit but you know they've had, you know they've had a chance to take a bit of a break mm -hmm. and prepare themselves for this next match which could be a bit of a detriment for the old one weapons yeah exactly that. i think you know it's one of those situations where now you have to try to factor in the externalities as well as in the game as well so you know, going in towards this one, it's quite interesting kind of looking on paper. In the survey, going to be slightly different. I and mean, there's a couple of things we can talk about getting into it in terms of the role select you want to go for. We know kind of, especially the, the sweet generous side, they're quite versatile. They're quite adaptable. They can probably select into quite a few agents, which makes counter strating them quite hard. And then you've got the other talks about kind of the vetoes, about kind of how even Wani Wet want to play this. What maps do they want to go to to try and give themselves an opportunity? There's a lot of conversations with them. And being the quote unquote underdog, they need to time this right. Yeah, I mean, they talk about the, the holy trinity of maps, which this is like an EMEA VCT mm -hmm. thing. And I, if I'm not mistaken, it's a Saint Bind split. It could be yeah. Haven Bind split, but I think it's a Saint Bind split. And it, it's kind of like um, the maps that, as we say, you know, they're less kind of uh, gimmicky. You know, Agreed. every map kind of has its thing that it leans into, and these three maps tend to be the most straightforward. So yeah. for a team that might not necessarily have a lot of, you know, competitive experience, this might be the kind of place where you would want to lean into. And I'm mm -hmm. obviously sp uh, thinking specifically of, of Wani Wep and where they might want to take us. So I think it's very likely we'll see one, maybe even two of those maps uh, in this upcoming set. Of course, it's very difficult to make predictions when we don't mm -hmm. know terribly much about these teams. Sure, we have a little bit of insight into the players, but they haven't really competed as set units, so we don't That's really it, have yeah. anything to fall back on. So. I wouldn't be surprised if we see those maps. I would be terribly surprised if we see the likes of Fracture or Breeze, but I would be very, very excited and very, very sure. happy. Yeah, I was going to say, you know, maybe one who could just throw an absolute wild card, go towards a Fracture, and then, you know, nothing planned for it. It would be very risky, to say the least, but uh, either way, something which is, uh, I wouldn't really expect too much. Potentially a Haven could come through as well. On their, their third map, in fact, they went to that OT, ended up winning it out 15-13 against Natives, and that was on Haven. So they know they have the kind of longevity in that sort of map. It could be somewhere they posture, but you mentioned the kind of, the less gimmicky maps, I think, is probably the way they want to play this. Don't go towards your Breeze. Don't go towards your fracture and just try to play this in a more well, i guess simple fashion is one way to put it we do have the veto ready for you we can take a look at how this one is going to at least posture up of course bands to come through and it's a scent and fracture out immediately as we expected one web go for the fracture ban they don't want to risk playing it i don't blame them yeah, it's a bit interesting that uh, Ascent gets banned out so early on, but I suppose you take away one of those easier maps. So we're headed to Haven and Split. There's one, at least, of the Holy Trinity. Mm. Uh, Haven, of course. And, and Haven, I've, I've realized recently, I mean, you can kind of play it like a like a classic two-site map if yeah. you just consider being an extended Ignore mid. It. It, it's no longer a site. It's just now <laughs> part of mid. Yeah. Uh, and then I think you can make that work. So it doesn't seem terribly out of the ordinary that we're going to head there. But yeah, Split relatively predicted. Yeah, I feel like I was like a sort of tier two and tier one. I see a lot of that kind of play style. Just B mm -hmm. is mid. That just we'll all yeah. agree. It's like a mutual agreement <laughs> in and out of the server. B is mid as well. We'll see what happens there. Breeze and Bind come through as the bands afterwards. And just like that, of course, it leaves us down to one. So as our three maps, we have that of Haven split. And again, split That's, apparently. Not we're gonna quite. play split twice, boys. <laughs> oh, we do love to see. It. We do love to see. It. I Icebox. Ooh, Icebox, Icebox is where we are gonna be heading as our final. Yeah. Icebox, but uh, yeah, okay. Haven split and Icebox it was quite confusing. I was like, hang on a second, but no, Haven split and Icebox. An interesting veto coming through. Haven and Split, definitely the slightly more kind of less gimmicky maps coming through. Icebox still has a little bit about it to it in terms of, you know, there's a few agents that become a necessity pick on towards Icebox or more standard picks. You know, you look towards potentially your Sage and your Viper being kind of a really, you know, inaugural part of the meta. The post spot meta was kind of invented really on Icebox more than anywhere else. But going in towards this one, what's your thoughts on the map, Sam? I think that the veto, so maybe the ice box is a little bit of a, a surpriser, mm -hmm. but as we head into Haven, our first map, I think that again, you know, when you consider B is, or even, yeah, when you consider B is just kind of an extended mid, it starts to make yeah. a little bit more sense and be a little bit more easy for teams to kind of navigate around. The really interesting thing for me is going to be what compositions we see, mm -hmm. because when we look at teams that play in these smaller tournaments, these smaller third party tournaments, they very often bring out some quite interesting compositions that tend yeah. to work out far better than what we would have expected so excuse me uh really excited to see if we do see any of that come out but for the moment the haven pick 
not terribly surprising all no. around. I think this is actually a pretty good composition to come through here of course the breach there uh gonna be very very nice to utilize the breach and the sky in fact with the double initiator could be absolutely deadly but on the other hand they don't have a sova and there is a sova on the other side mm -hmm. which is probably gonna present them with a few problems i mean we saw this in polaris last season 10 star didn't run a sova yeah. and what happened they got 13 owed uh in game one on haven yeah. so hopefully we don't see something like that here today but i think it could prove a little problematic yeah, I, I am feeling a little bit uneasy about the lack of a sober pick, but we'll have to wait and see how this one plays out. They do, of course, have uh, they could have the rays coming through, and they could use the sky as a little bit of kind of information. Of course, the trailblazer in that way, the seekers too. Yeah, I'm, I'm concerned to see how kind of the lack of sober, whether it plagues them at any means. The double chamber coming through one apiece is uh, a pretty standard pick. I think chamber's becoming one of the most picked agents for, for good reason as well. Very oh, yeah. good in terms of rage. Very good in terms of you could actually quite comfortably put players who would you would usually put them as quote unquote duelists on towards uh, a chamber and they make it look very, very easy. So yeah, that's got the way though in towards map number one. Sam, I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, this is going to be. Definitely a bit of a banger of a matchup here. And uh, I hope that these guys keep it super competitive for us. And uh, for the moment now, it looks like we're going to have a little bit of a lean over towards the A site. But of course, it is just going to be the pistol round. So, yeah, you can't really read too much into this. Of course, pistol rounds tend to be a little bit coin flippy. So it becomes really important how you choose to leverage this, especially on the three map site. You know, you don't have a ton of utility to run with. You know that one of your players, as we see, uh, does have the half armor there. Swise looking to hopefully survive through to the end of the round. Wednesday already. A little bit of early aggression. Relish is to be careful. He's just a ball stay alive. A couple of problems being caused there by King Haas. He can just take a couple of pop shots. Not going to complain at all for the time being. Now, I have Alvin. I'm going to look in towards mid. Interesting name to be, to be said for sure. But uh, a slow approach here. Will in towards that of... Uh, well, out of the, uh, the doors position, it's all about timing for the time being. And the rotates back over towards C. The double stack here, one in towards B. Aldro going to make his presence known through over towards the C site. No one to test the waters for the time being. It's illegal. Having a little look. Very slow, very methodical. And a smoke with a lot of... Uh, like you say, very slow, and I think that that could become a little bit problematic because now with only Ooh. four play. Oh, okay. Opening up that B site for themselves. They're going to have to clear connect. Uh, they can't do it. Spike uh, double. down B. Not going to say no. Kick ass for two. Illegal find the trade. Spike to go down. Spike. Two versus three. Numbers in favor here now. Oh, that is the sweet, generous side. What can they find? In comes the guarding light as well, just to. Uh, Give him an entry. Swagger will run out of charge. Ready. Illegal will fall. Danny makes it a double. Brilliant stuff. Brilliant retake from them. Further board. And for Sweet Generous on that defender side, that's the dream start you want. Find yourself all Danny five kills. And with two remaining alive, two remaining alive, may I say, a, uh, a defuse. Not too bad. And that, of course, makes it quite difficult, I think, for the attacking side. You know, you, you have to create a lot of space for yourself and you're kind of funneling yourselves into a particular point you lose a player now you have to regroup and you know sweet generis they've got really really good map control so they don't have to overextend or over peak they just hold their angles really nicely of course king has will pop off and get two little kills for himself and uh yeah that just secures them that round quite nicely because they've forced uh, the one he weapons. Oh, that's going to get really odd saying. <laughs> uh, force them into a bit of a tight spot. Now, of course, it's going to be the force up for Sweet Generis. Oh. Unfortunately, we don't have the fancy VCT overlay, but uh, it will be their force up, and uh, we'll see if if the one he weapons can make something happen on an on a extended pistol. That's the question, right? Can they do anything with the shorty? In close and personal, we know that can cause a couple of problems, but for the time being all the slower i mean they just need to play a little bit of timing in their favor just play for a little bit of a uh, i guess how you can say uh, map control With not much of an investment though it's gonna be tough i think it's safe to say in comes with a bit of utility posturing still towards b but for the time being i like exactly how we generous are playing this they're not overextending they're not trying to go aggressive they know they've got the, the better in terms of firepower just play for it so slow methodical and it should work <laughs> theoretically Exactly. See if yeah, those pan out there. 
Interesting to see, of course, with this being their pistol, they are going to posture a little bit towards that B site. I like the interesting lurk that's coming through over towards A, but will it pay off? That's going to be the interesting question here. They have managed to clear the site, but immediately seconds. the retake is gone. Danny, Cow, King Hops. What a beast, bro. We'll find a trade. Already the numbers dwindling, though, now. The one he went. But it's ours. Just one. Make that none. Will will fall two. And with four remaining alive, Sweet Generous find themselves a second on the board. Already looking like a fairly decent start for them. But this is now the true test, I want to say. When he worked to pick themselves up a full buy, the full rifles on display, and a fairly decent amount of utility too, this is where we can start to get a decent idea about how Wani Web fare off on their attacking side in map one. Yeah, this should be a fairly simple oh, bonus. Sure. Obviously, um, you know, most of them survive, or all of them survive, really, at the end of that one. Not a, not needing to buy into this one at all. But, of course, Wani Wep up on their full buy now. This is going to be an important one. And, you know, the end of that round, that B hit, with limited utility and limited stuff available to them, of course, it was always going to be difficult to try and make a way in onto the site. But this opening pick from Will could be exactly what they need to get the ball rolling here. Is there's a little bit of a... Uh, not a gamble stack, but a but an aggressive stack coming out of A. Already. That's a land twice. What a piece. Not too bad. Blind to come through. Danny to close and personal. What can he find? It's a question. Just a spec good hand, but at this sort of range, can cause a couple of issues. And there is one. Look for two. Oh, Daddy. Not quite the third. Just a ding, but he'll take it all the same. In for the flight now as well. Already. Lurk, who we will be calling Q. He's in for the high now. We'll try and remember. Yeah. Do our best. Doesn't have much to work with yet. Oh, as I said. Oh, heartbreaking. Yeah, gotta check those angles, but of course, illegal. Put on the ball there, realize that's where someone's gonna be coming from because there weren't too many other places where it could have been. A nice round, and of course, it was an anti eco, so to speak. So, of course, they do come out of this one. Now, this is what has been dubbed the power-up round. The very first time where our two teams will have full rifles across the board. Maybe not full armor. This should have been equal footing, but Relish is in a bit of a tight spot there. Has spent a little bit in the last few rounds, so isn't quite on perfect equal footing. And that could be a little bit of a detriment into this round. Let's come through as well. Just... Show a little bit of presence. King has to like this. It's nice and aggro. You're going to find yourself an open and fall away. That's a dream start for them with their first fall by. But it's actually illegal. Dropping Q. Not exactly the worst of starts if you're over towards one. He wep. Tempo slowed right down. I hit Valorant holding a lot of this pressure. For the time being, no overextension being made. They're kind of waiting for their opportunity. Aldro will come down. through, but it's King Hass in fact down, fires the A. first. I hit Valorant, his position given away, they know exactly where he is now. Recon to come forward, destroyed immediately, swinging in towards Danny, could be monumental for him, and it will. I hit Valorant, finds one. Danny falls, and now that's all line though. And for King Hass, we know what he can do with it. Ooh. Getting spotted out there, not ideal, but they have given themselves a huge numbers advantage here. Now... Sweet Generous yeah. have to play this a little bit more safe. And again, they're trying to maintain a strong map presence all the way across. They don't want to stack up too heavily, but this could be incredibly detrimental for them. If just one of them gets caught out, left. there's no one to swing. There's no... Oh! Ooh. Oh, what an unfortunate miss shot. But look at that information. He knows this one in sewers. Yeah, and the rendezvous, rendezvous mass is huge because he falls away. And that was a reposition already. Good one! Shot goes through. Look at two. Down Can't quite find it, but the spike dropped and only... Just over 10 seconds on the clock to get it down, but they will be able to. Numbers in favor left. of Wally Wep. And the man advantage now, how do they pay this post plant? Already, lots of utility burned, and it might even be a save call. You can kind of see somewhat of a rotation coming through, but no, it's coming in for that double stack. Cow waiting for his opportunity. Low HP as well, and I Valorant. That could work quite nicely. Nice. Going forward. I Valorant makes it three. Can he ask for the four with 22 points of HP? He's going to fall away and invite the pressure. It's all down to one. And for Swise, in a one versus three, I think it's safe to might be done, and it is. Will will finish things off. One, he went with three remaining alive. Tie this game back up two rounds apiece. Well, there you go. Sometimes the power of the pistol round can propel you to four straight rounds, and sometimes in the uh, the first full buy you manage to swing things back in your favor. And that's exactly what Wani Web have done. They have basically sat down, Sui Generous, and they have now been able to even out the scoreline and force them down onto a full Sheriff round. Now, they do need to be weary because, of course, Seekers are online. 
I don't think we actually see that come out though. You know, even with the two online here from Wonny Web, this should be a fairly unultimated round. Could not agree more. Uh, I've I can't got agree your more. trail. Shouldn't be Never too mind. much. Never mind. In fact, the, the uh, Seekers Mouse are going to come out on board. Now, what do they find? The question or anything else? With just a classic, are on their real way. Got the head on throughout to try and make this a little bit easier. Even still, though, a lot residing in their favor for the likes of one who went first. We'll find it. Cass for so does Cow. Q only good for Spike one. Boy, shredded eight. immediately by Relish. Number That's heavily in favor of one who Spike to go down and just falls. It's all down to one. Swives means something monumental to find anything here. Oh. I hate Baron. Up to his third there. Who we should be calling Zetchi. That's right, Zetchi. Yeah, because I'll, I'll be honest, I don't feel comfortable saying that because I love Valorant. So exactly. uh, you know what? It's you can it's just... a lie. Exactly right. I don't feel right lying on broadcast. So <laughs> uh, really solid round there. But to be fair, Zetchi has been doing incredibly well for his team. And again, I think this has a lot to do. You know, so we I kind of touched on it a little bit. The lack of a sova, the lack of the information gathering mm. ability, and of course they give that up in favor of the breach and okay yeah, there's a lot more way. initiation potential here but on the defensive side it's a bit of a double-edged sword and they don't really have all the information that they need to mount a proper defense That's it. now at the very least for sweet generous they've got themselves a uh, full buy on board based on popped as well slower tempo here by one who lead in their favor and they want to double it for the time being, not too much to be spotted. Information on a final towards back B. Will do. Not going to reach his target. King has tucked in towards back site. Operator in hand. Doesn't need to overextend, but of course, position given away. He needs to be slightly cautious. That's a lamp. Going to fall back in towards window. It's very slow here. Methodical play by Wani Wep as they don't really want to overextend. They kind of give away that man advantage, which has been kind of a big part of their success thus far. And you can see why. Blaze opening the charge. Illegal. I was going to pop, trying to find a little bit of space over towards the A site. The two players here, and that third, a very quick rotate away. Now holding King Haas from window. This is where things could work in his favor, but a smoke in his face. It makes things all the more Ooh. awkward. Paranoia coming oh, through as well. Right. Illegal comes out. Stop! <gasps> Come out! He doesn't find anything. Yeah. King Haas only good for one. The trade on towards Will. But now they've got the site. Oh, that's heartbreaking. I mean, the, the race has become so popular on Haven recently, but unfortunately, if you can't get that ult to sing, you could wind up in a terrible spot. Now, look at all of this util to come out to try to create no some way. kind of Put space here. The lurk round, but the seek can spot him out. You will find one. Illegal again. Finds yet one more. Stay alive. Can he make it a third? Looking like standing. he might be able to do so, and he does. That's spot Ooh. four. Illegal. Quad kill to his name. The blaze storm was popped, and he made it look easy fourth arm on the board for one he as they build themselves up a two round lead i mean <laughs> illegal kind of living up to his name there a lot of those shots seemed pretty damn illegal but there you go a nice little 4k to secure themselves yet another round and things had started to look a little bit dicey there towards the end. It was starting to look like Sweet Generis would be able to kind of mount a bit of a comeback into that one. But no, unfortunately, it's right back down onto the forced pistol for the upgraded pistol. The sheriff. Oh my god, what is that aggression? I mean, it's immediately punished, but hey, you'll take that first shot. Oh yeah, I mean, a sheriff finding that sort of, not only information, but a kill as well. It's definitely uh, at least a little bit of a positive now, King Huts. Tucked in closer. Headhunter as well. The, fire, the question is, can he find the head? He's looking for at least a bit of something to work with. Will he find it? The answer is no. He knew all too well. Vizetchi now. Numbers in their favor. Ronnie Webb can make their way back over towards A. They've had a lot of success here previously. And they should be able to find a little bit more too. Vizetchi out and towards sight. He's got it cleared up. Path is one man out of queue. Being tagged at range as well. Just to buy some time. Time for the rotate to come forward, but I think it's too late. Spike to go down momentarily. Sight in their favor on the numbers too. Bonnie Webb are teeing themselves up for a fifth on the board now. Spike though, hang on a second. We'll find us on one. Zet you a board. Relish you for a trade. Makes it two and a third on the board. SLM will clean things up. It was looking like it could have been a little bit testy towards the end there, but no. Five on the board for Wani Webb. A three round lead. Sam, getting a little bit concerning. Yeah, I mean, that was one of those rounds where we kind of don't expect 
them to get too much done. Look, they keep it relatively expensive, but not expensive enough. You take a look at Wani Whip's cash, and they are... They're flush. <laughs> they're looking just fine. And this is a round that Sui Generous kind of have to win. Uh, not just because, of course, the gap is slowly increasing panic? but also because every time they lose you know their economy gets that little bit more broken Cover and it's really out. rough to buy mm. in you've got two ultimates to try to work with yeah try to make it happen that rolling thunder could be absolutely devastating but that'll be for a strong po or retake and it, that doesn't seem to be what they're posturing for. that's it that's a bullet spikes are trying to get down the dash will just keep illegal alive. He just takes a little bit of chip damage, but it makes the smart decision just to fall away. Don't blame him. Now, with his back, once again, what looks like it could be over towards the A side. We've seen this time and time again for them, and it's worked so well. Then, uh, he's found a bit of space. The extra overextends. Q good for the first. Staying alive now as well. He can just buy some time, set up a crossfire, and set up for the information play. Trailblazer. Information one towards the left hand side. The guarding likely great here as well. What a piece though. Spinal come nice. forward. Q, yet one more to his name. This is looking much better from Sui Generous. His relish is out towards C. Hang on a second. Now he could get in towards the back line to cause some problems. Oh, yeah. Is he expected? Q going out. Gonna fall. Relish's hands finds it. And he can pull back into a site. Things are actually looking up a little bit, especially if they can find this. And they will. Will. Good for one. Falling away as well. Not trading. King has to back down in towards window, but even still. A cloud burst is faced, denies all the pressure. In a three versus three, spike down, post plant set up. This has turned the hands. Wani Wep in a driving position right now. This is an awesome turnaround. Let's see if they can maintain this hold here, though. Is this one, some of that util coming out? No! Oh, I got really bad here for Danny because every time he tries to make something happen, he just gets completely shut down. Going for a satchel play there, a little bit of a bunny half and. Mm. Nope, just <laughs> wiped off the server. But this was well played from Wani Web. So they start posturing in towards B. They fake the spike and they immediately pull out of sight. And they've put That's so it. much, I mean, they put some dark covers in the way. So you don't actually realize that they've pulled out until and it's too it. late. And yeah, they lose a few players, but they're so quick to make the rotation over towards yeah. C that they're able to to not only get the spike down, also set up some really good cross angles. I mean, they, they seem to just have the run of the map here, and, and Sui Generous don't have a, a response to it. Uh, yeah, I've got to say, so far I'm really impressed by Wani Wet. They're looking like the, the slightly more stable side for me. I mean, Sui Generous, the individuals are great, yeah, and we've seen moments of brilliance from them. You know, Q, that doubles, open things up, looked fantastic. But then they leave themselves a little bit exposed. The overextensions come through, which we can punish on time and time again. And it was a lot of problems now, kind of like, it was mid. Not much to be found here. Needs to be careful of the aggression. SLM, there's two players looking like they want to say hello to him momentarily, and they will. Danny, good for the first. What more can he find is the question. For it, damage dealt, illegal, gonna go aggressive, might work his favor. Good for the first. Headhunter doesn't quite deliver either. A cloud burst keeps him alive, and King Haas just gonna make that step away back to... Four versus four, and Wani Web got a bit of space out over towards C. Spike to go down, and now it's all about this retake. Legal and Will, what a piece. Sam, I think that might be it. That's seven, surely. <laughs> you were like all about this retake, and I was like, I was about to be like, what retake? Yeah. <laughs> yeah exactly that. Twice again in that last player position. Okay, all right. Go. Make it expensive. Run away with the gun. No, no, not back to the side. Ah, you hate go. to see it. You really do. Really ah. do. I mean, the other buy is was next round. It's not the end of the world. Yeah. But Five round lead built up, it's already starting to get slightly concerning, Sam. Yeah, this is the thing. I mean, like you say, they're still going to buy up into this round, so not too concerning that they weren't able to hold on to the gun. But the big concern is they haven't really been able to make anything happen for themselves. They are stockpiling ultimates as well. Uh, so they've got four of those online. They're, or they're about to have their fifth as well. Danny just needs two more of those orbs. Whereas Wani right Web have been doing a pretty good job of kind of circling, not circling, like rotating out their ultimates, Stagger making sure, staggering, I suppose. Use one here, use one in another round. You kind of just make sure that you have a constant stream of ultimates available to you. But now finally we'll have Tour de Force once again popped by King Hass. He did manage to get like one kill the last time he popped it. He's gonna need to come up a lot bigger here because, well, Wani Web have already secured themselves the lead at the half. That's it, exactly that. Well. You know, 7-2 is really not a bad start at all. We said, you know, on paper, yeah. you know, in terms of the, the names for Sweet Generous, that 
potentially you can make him in that that one he for are the other dogs, but they've not they look far from it. I think it's probably the best way to put it. At the moment, it's been it's been stunning. I've got to say, is uh, everything is looking very very good for them and. Another opportunity where for speech they need to deliver into us this arm. Not a bad start. King Cass, good for the first. Zechi will fall. Daddy holding from an elevated angle. Gonna invite a little bit of pressure here. Got the slows come through as well. They overextend, which could give him an advantage. But for now, Wani Wep just gonna take a step away. Reposition, reevaluate. And with that spike, it's looked like it's gonna go over towards C. But it's been red! Uh, this is pretty good. I mean, to be generous, know that they often go for the C hit after a fake, and now they're waiting for it! The judge. One enemy Q. remaining. That's brilliant. Swiss and Cow on a piece. We're done here, Sam. It's down to just one. Relish has to do something special in this sort of round to find anything, and he's tucked in a corner with just under 15 seconds on the clock, and the priority is trying to stay alive. Left. If he can even do that, that would be huge right now as he's being pressured. Guiding lights come forward as well. Might make his life a little bit of a living hell. We'll avoid the brunt of it. He's scared of the flank. No one actually coming that way, so... That's around. Dead in the ball for Sweet Generous. But he will at the very least keep that Vandal ticking across. So, silver linings. This was a really, really important round for Sweet Generous to come up on top of. And they have to kind of keep that momentum going at this point. Now, a lot of what plays into that, of course, is a nice... Well, first and foremost, they don't push out over aggressively, which has been a little bit of an issue for them leading up to now. They go out aggressively, they lose the player, and then everything just kind of falls apart. This time around, they tend to play that a little bit more passively. And as I mentioned, when Wani Web go for a fake, they very often kind of fake and then head off over towards the C sites. And as soon as we generous see them pull out, they expect that that's what's happening. So they immediately start rotating over towards that C site and they lock it down. Really well played. That's it, exactly that. Now as we get started, one, number two, we'll find it as well. Trollblades are hitting him, but he might not stay alive. Trying to the show soft, it might work, and it will. Danny, brilliant. Pain cans to come through just as he falls away. Danny, that is a masterclass. One, he went left down to just one. It's all on the hands and the shoulders of Will to find something here in this round, or it's going to be Sweet Generous up towards their fourth. That has been a brilliant showing. Be spotted out as well. They know exactly where he is. Paranoia will come through. Even staying Still alive see seems like a long shot here for him. Swing it in. We're going to find anything. Yes, Q will fall. At the very least, Consolation kill. Guarding light once again, making his life a living hell. And I think it's just a moment in time before he falls here. One versus four. Isolating all of these fights. Is something special with King House of Rage. We'll close things out. That is brilliant. It's all down to the Rays. Last I was talking a little bit about how I was concerned at some of the over-aggression over from Sui Generous, but this time around, they make it work. Danny, who has been shut down in his prime maybe a little bit more often than uh, what he would have liked, he comes up with a serious vengeance here. So thankfully, they're able to get themselves yet another round. They're creating the tear that they need to be on. And of course, finally starting to be able to cycle some of those ultimates. Now, they've got two of those still on, the Rolling Thunder and... And the you want to play? Oh, Let's yeah. play. That actually does get some value, but oh wow! Okay, Twitter Force and Blade Storm pop in a rifle round here for Wani Web. They mean business. That's it. They've gone, you know, full Monty into this round here to try and at least get themselves a. And to be fair, taking a four would be not the end of the world at all. But King Hass and Danny want to be the Blade Storm of the League has found four kills before, but he's maybe just that one more into all this. We wanted to come forward, but avoided actually the trade places. But the shots, no, the blade storm. Illegal cannot hit those shots. And he is punished for it. SLM will fall two. And Zechi only good for one. Seven five. It's where we are at at the half. Switching sides. Yeah, that was a little rough for illegal there, I'm not gonna lie. Um Oof. <laughs> kind Great of pushes in there. Yeah, I mean, I was really surprised when we walked straight past Danny. Walks into SLM, misses all the shots on SLM. Danny doesn't even turn around, not concerned. He just leaves SLM to his own devices. Like, it was really, really chaotic. But, there you go. Finally, we get to that 7-5. Sweet Generous took them a little while to find that rhythm. Now we swap over onto the attacking half, and this could be where they start to shine a little bit, because yes, they don't have that Sova, but having this powerful double initiator of the Sky and the Breach could be terrifying. That's going to be pretty important to create those all-important openings for the rest of the team to push in with. That's it, already. Back to the door, nothing to start at the moment. Pole line's being tested, but it's Danny good for the first. That you will fall. Over towards C, it looks like they want to go. The paranoia. 
Because the Matt have got the rendezvous, you're for all the same spike. Plant in a matter of seconds. The five versus three in favor of Sweet Generous. That's one he wept. They are in a tough predicament here to try and find a little bit of something. Nice aggressive post one set up two. One spotted. Oh, Relish will find the first. He's expect the second in towards doors is the question. Jump in the corner. Might be costly in a will. King Hart's infiltrated. Illegal. Only down for two. And he's just two more though. Can he find it? The answer is no. Cow will finish things off. Six, seven. First pistol round. Or second pistol round, may I say. Goes the way of C Generous. That's there only now. One round behind. Ah, oh, the power of the off angle. I mean, honestly, something so small, like not checking a random box angle in Garage. And, and honestly, who would expect the player to be there? Really, really smart thinking. Sweet Generous now, obviously, get to force up for themselves, as is the, the norm. I'm gonna be interested to see what Zechi gets done here with this shorty. I've seen a lot of shorty players go awry. We'll take a look at where he's positioning. Oh, of course, he's positioning in Garage. I mean, I don't know why I have to look for that. That just makes the most sense. No, not the classic, the shorty. Come on, oh, keep come up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what the worst joke. I'm not even going to give you credit for that one. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> you walked into it, man. Yeah, I did. I, I really set that one up. I put it on a T for you. But uh, yeah, you know, tucked in towards doors. It's industry stand for Zechi. I'm going to find a bit of something. The boo body might make it a little bit more awkward. Oh, he did. There's one. He'll take it. With just that minimal invest and he gets a freebie. Danny, though. Now what more can he find? Inspector in hand. Close position. Does he expect it? Doesn't matter. The shots and relish will fall. Safety set for Will too. And in a matter of moments, this should be sweet generous. Time is back up seven to seven. He's a two versus four. Oh wow. I mean, there's no sense in like maybe uh, geez, even if you pick up like an SMG. I mean, there's no set. You have to try and go for these exits. But I mean, is it even possible at this point? A frenzy on SLM. Almost yeah, full yeah. HP across the board for the last few players left alive for Sue Generous. I mean, they've got everything going for them right here. Like, oh, last player standing. Cute. Gonna find SLM. It's just under one. They've got a good idea, and he will fall. Spam through the smoke. It's quite easy. Four men alive. As this game's tied right back up on the attacking side, Sue Generous have started to find their form now. Seven to seven. All tied square. But this is the true test. Full bike. Going out for one anywhere. This is where they needed to be. Okay, Zechi, I was kind of with you on the shorty, but you've lost me with the Odin. <laughs> I mean, I know that we've had a period where the Odin in Garage was really, really powerful. Or if you kind of hold it in B, connect and spam into sewers. But we're a long, we're a far cry from that Valorant. Okay, I mean, you better just to get a little bit of damage now they know the Odin's there and they just don't go that way. And this, I mean, it could work perfectly into uh, into Wani Web's hands, though, because it does force them into a different rotation. Yeah, I guess the, the, the other sort of positive about it, because they know it's there, right? It kind of forces them to into a bit of a chokehold into another position, but that spike will go down nonetheless. Already now going to be that post bomb being set up and very aggressive, and I like this. Go hunting to try and find the numbers in their favor, and I work, but it's popped. Missed a couple of knives there from Illegal, he's not punished, and he will, well, actually won't be, it's Swise who's punished. Cal finding a second though, Zechi falls, his sheriff's causing a nuisance, and already in a matter of moments, this one getting a little bit dicey on the real estate. Oh, we'll find one, make that two as well, brilliant transfer. And the numbers now swap hands, one he wet, oh. only got one to find his Q. Close one, to one, two, Q! Cool. How has he made that work? <laughs> Illegal! <laughs> Misplaced all the Q, that is stunning. What a way to take the lead in your favor and on a bonus. See, this is a little bit sad, I think, for Illegal. It's a bit rough because, I mean, we saw him come out with a 4K uh, on a on a Blade Storm a little bit earlier on. And now yeah. he's, I don't know, he's, he's had a little bit of a rough time getting those knives to connect. And yeah, of course, it can be difficult. It's not a perfect science. It's you know, rough, but this has forced them into a, a position where they've now lost the lead. They're back down onto a pistol. Okay, it's not just the blade storm. That did sound like a weird segue. There's a lot of factors into it, including not checking garage where the Odin was in the last round. What? Yeah, come on, question mark. Spot still. Now, the one will. Zet, you want a piece. King Hats will find the trade. But already this. Slightly lowish buy of one web causing a couple of problems for the time being now. They'll just fall away. Illegal. He's got a lot of information individually over towards that of a long, but just gonna slow things down. Swise, nice shot. SLM will fall. Danny. 
Going aggressive, trying to close out a little bit of the space. The question is, can he? Spike to be planted, post bar and set up in a three versus three. This retake needs to be formidable. Relish has been spotted out as well. Seekers to come out, they get all the information. Those one towards backside, doesn't matter. Relish, one more. Danny will fall. Suarez has to come huge, he does. We'll find one more. King has as well. Brings down to a two versus one. Will with a headhunter pop. They know exactly where he's coming from. And surely now it's just a matter of time unless he can do something special. Phantom collected. One versus two. Time is ticking though. And he won't be able to deliver. It's Suarez for three. Nice, a nice little clean up there. And what I do find interesting is so many of these rounds ending up in massive multi kills. Some of these players they kind of need to pop off a little bit, go uh, go hard, and make sure that you can secure the round. And I think that that's what makes the sweet generous team so formidable is the fact that you know each of these players has the potential to do that. We've seen multi kills from a lot of these players, and uh, it's been really really impressive. Now, however, I think this is where things could start to get a little bit scary because of course. Illegal's got an operator on the board and well, that could prove troubling. That's it. Out towards long. For the time being, it's just a uh, bit of early presence shown here by the attacking side. Of course, we've got the two-round lead in their favour. They're knocking on the door of double digits. Everything is at the moment looking pretty decent. If you're over for Sui Generous, for only where this is a, a pivotal round for them. This is one where they have to make this work. They've got economy to work within towards this round. Their investment is pretty full as well. And failure to convert will leave them in a very dire situation. Now, Will, elevated angle. He might be able to spot the toes. Got like to come forward as well. Will force him off angle that time being. Danny needs to be cautious, though. Who's Will play nice and aggressive. If he takes a pop shot, he'll just fall away. The rendezvous. Couple tags coming through. He won't find too much. Actually going to hold on the fort though, and I like this. You'd expect him to fall away. I know he's going to stay in position, but the rotation's being made back over towards C. No, it's not. <laughs> okay, back in towards mid, in fact. Yeah, you know what? It, it's the double, triple, quadruple fake, but we're heading in towards Garage. Yeah, pin some maneuver in towards the C site. Smoke off the... Oh, smoked off oh, windows no. and... Oh, no. Swice, Danny. It. One apiece. The idea was nice, but unfortunately not going to be able to deliver. All looking a little bit dicey now. It's a three versus five. And as I mentioned, with this full investment, I think Sam probably to go for a save call, surely. I mean, retaking this is going to be so difficult. They've got the operator in play too. I mean, losing that is going to put them a few steps back and already Sweet Genesis are starting to get to a, a position where the question of too little, too late starts to ring out. Q needs to be careful though. The flank is coming oh. forward. Will, going to get a freebie. Q will fall. Okay. Maybe there is a backbone to this. We'll make him back in towards doors, and he'll get that control for free, but for the time being, either way, show stopper coming out. Trying to live in a present. Uh, uh, anything, unfortunately, but Danny's second time of asking will do. Won't be able to find the time for the retake. The save call has been made. There we go. Three generous. Up to ten. So, let's get some question marks in chat. That was a bit of an unfortunate one there for Danny. His show stoppers have been a little hit or miss. But we do see the power of the rays coming through here, and it's quite consistent with, you know, how he's shutting down a lot of the space using those paint mm. shells and, you know, creating space for the rest of the team as well. And even when the showstopper doesn't hit, it's it's really good as a zoning ult. Maybe not necessary there for zoning, but uh, hey-ho, they do still win the round. You have... This is your fault. I never said hey-ho until I met you. I blame you. <laughs> the lingo starting to rub off. That's what we love to see. Hey-ho. <laughs> Three-round oh. lead. Three generous. <laughs> and it's now... Oh, that's an aggressive. I like this. Will force the blade cover nice and far now. away. He does not want to take that pressure at cover, all. Cover. In comes the smoke oh, already. Trying to get a little bit of favor. Rolling thunder to come through as well. Will is in for a rough time. As he is absolutely... I have no idea where he currently is. Twice. We'll find the first. From the very well to be set up. as the spike goes down. Numbers in favor of the generous. Wani Web. This is going to be a brutal retake. As we are getting ever so closer to 11 here. What? I, I saw this over heading up towards A and I was like, oh, he's going to go through sewers. This could be a great flank, but he's just he's just meeting up with them in connector. Hang on, no. Illegal. Going to find himself one. Made this doable. Numbers poor level. Illegal's causing a lot of problems as well. We're at range with the operator. We'll jump out. Might be able to get a freebie. And he will. Illegal are in line. The operator's causing problems. But it's actually oh, Death Chi with a double. They Last might have time as well. Pros don't fake. They say, does he hold it the full way? Yes, he is. No way. Oh. Actually pays the prize. Cal for a double to close things out. It's the finest of margins. But it's too generous. Up to 11. A four round lead. Up. Yeah, so I was getting really excited by watching Zechi move in towards A, because I think, okay, he's going to come up to do sewers, they could have created a crossfire from K 
connector from heaven and from sewers or from a main whichever and then they'll take in because one of the biggest mistakes that i see teams make is trying to push in kind of single file through connector and because of that almost 50 50 check as you push through you put yourself in a rough position so when i saw him double back I was like, oh, no ways. And to be fair, they make it close, but at the end, because they don't have that A angle cleared, they're not able to make it work. Well, that's I'm being now for Wani Wep. I'm getting ever so slightly concerned now that, as I said earlier, that question of too little, too late might uh, rain out true. Now it's 11 to 7. Two rounds away from the all elusive uh, 13 here. Wani Wep, not much left to be able to deny this. The buy slightly middling. That's one way to put it. A Bucky in close and Persia flash will come forward. I don't think the answer is just a dig, Danny. Fortune to remain alive. With 30 points of HP, he's going to go aggressive. And I like this. Try to find a bit of pressure. Paranoia comes forward. Sheriff doesn't hit. And he's punished. Swides and Danny want a piece. That's the seaside in there. Control spike to go down. And surely the round. Yeah, I, I, I see a very slim chance of this being uh, brought back into Wani Web's favor. They did a pretty decent job on their attacking half, but of course they had that Sova, gave them that little bit of information, but once Sui Generous kind of read into their playstyle, started to play around the Sova a little bit Last more. Hang on a second. Standing. Hang on, yeah, yeah. It was uh, like, you know, causing things to be you know, a little bit more uh, even than we initially anticipated, but it's up to 12. It's match point, point Sam on Sweet Generous' side, on the attacking side, and I gotta say, I'd be very surprised if they just can't close this out now, because they have looked phenomenal. Yeah, I think that this um, composition works really well for Sweet Generous. Now, I wouldn't, it's not something that I would recommend for most teams, but a lot of the time, and this is kind of what I was talking about, you see these kind of third-party tournaments where teams will mm -hmm. bring out compositions yeah. that might not necessarily fit in what that we see, and then they make it work. And they've taken yeah. the time to really understand a lot of what their composition is about. And that's what we're seeing here. But with Wani Web getting that opening kill, trying to lock down this B site, maybe Wani Web can get a stay of execution. Ooh, okay. Zechi, a double for him. Not gonna say no at Time all. To down to just two. That's really generous. And Relish got a nice little flank here. She'll be able to mop him up, surely. Danny gonna find one of his own, but it's all down to this flank. That's the crux here. Jumping into his window. The B side players will be slightly cautious, but the sound cues have been heard. They know all too well that the rotation be made over towards the C side, and they can just play time. It's a two versus three. The isolation of fights here has to be monumental, but the spike will go down. So generous, there still is a life line extended here. The post bar set up. It's quite aggressive, and Relish on that flank falls. It's a third kill for Danny, and now, Sam, I'm getting concerned. Oh, <laughs> uh, if they somehow lose this round it will be heartbreaking for one whip and this is such good positioning from sui generous they still have the showstopper as well perfect post plant utility there Let's see if they can make it sing Showstopper coming out, trying to deny it, doesn't matter. No, it's fine. They go forward. Spray transfer to the behind it. It's illegal with the blaze on. It was half defuse too, so he's going to be able to find that one with these. That would then down to the wire. But just unfortunate not to find that transfer illegal. A lovely double again with that blaze storm. I mean, we were talking Even about Danny showstoppers and how they weren't necessarily Thanks. getting all of the value in the world. And I think that, you know, obviously we saw the. Tailwind get activated just before the tap on the spike. Obviously, they know that that ultimate's around. They bait it out, and it's a bit rough. The cloud burst in the way. You can't really you. see is the person still on the spike. And we actually see the dink as well onto SLM, but it's not enough to get the kill. So this was really well played and illegal. Someone we'd also kind of spoken about his blade storms comes up big when it matters. But oh. can they keep it going? As Will will be the first to drop. Already now, we were hoping that could be, you know, a catalyst of success. And uh, the answer's no. Because at the no, moment now, they're on a, a numbers no, disadvantage. No. Made that two as well. But the Fury online, though, gonna find one. Zechi, trying to keep them in this. And just the final one, we're gonna find one more with Danny and Q combining to make this a three versus one. And we've already seen wonders coming through here from Illegal, but this round has to be one of the best he's provided if he's gonna be able to deny this. Well, essentially the round and more importantly the map going in favor of Sweet Generous. 
the spike down, post bar on setup, and he's got no way back into this. And well, with this being Sui Generous' map pick, we do kind of expect them to do well on it, but That's it, yeah. all eyes are on illegal now. Can he somehow watch this one out? The tap on the spike, did they spot him? Oh, oh there G you go. Attackers. Danny with 3k closes things out 13 8 map number one and what a map it was you know i gotta say sam the way things started out i really thought for a moment that one he wet were gonna be able to find you know potentially that map number one away from sweet generous but no not at all that's brilliant 13 to 8 stunning stuff and now we look towards map number two and this now becomes of course the win factor you look towards one he wet there's no second chance anymore and as we mentioned this is best three single elim this is their mm -hmm. last chance yeah this is really important for them as well given that it is also their map pick so we're heading in on to split and this is so obviously this is a map where we don't see a lot of sova and i felt like sova it had played a bit of a part in the start of haven particularly as they were trying to kind of find their footing knock sweet yeah. generous off their game and for a while, it did work, uh, but it didn't unfortunately work as we swapped sides. That breach utility came in very big, uh, and it did manage to secure them the round. So now we got to see, can they do that again on map two? That's it. Well, listen, what we're going to do is we apologize, first of all, for the tech issues. Hopefully, we're going to fix them right now. So what we're going to do is we're gonna throw this one to a quick break. When we are back, map number two will be up, and of course, hopefully, no more tech problems. So we'll see you after this little break.